so all the topics are so awesome in this, in this class. Um, but the the topic of eclipses, oh my gosh. Um, so there are. And this semester, 2014, fall 2014, if you're listening to this then, we have um, a pair of eclipses coming up, and oftentimes they happen in pairs. We have first a total lunar eclipse, and then a partial solar eclipse happening two weeks apart in um, October. So um, the two types of eclipses. So um, there's all sorts of ways I can kind of test you over this, and you have homework questions, that sort of thing. But we have an eclipse of the moon. An, oops, sorry. An eclipse of the moon we call a lunar eclipse. And this is kind of the general configuration of, of when, when the moon gets eclipsed. So the moon gets eclipsed when you see the blue is the earth, okay, and we have the sun over here, and um, the moon, let me go ahead and, well, you can already see this right here. This is showing you that the moon actually goes. Uh, what we say counterclockwise, looking down at the North Pole, it goes counterclockwise about the Earth. So the Moon actually, we say, passes into the Earth's shadow. See how the Earth is casting a shadow here from the Sun? So it's used to getting actually being full Moon at this point because it's like the entire disk that's illuminated from the Sun we get to see. This, is, this would be full Moon. Full Moon. Okay, that's what we say the phase. We'll talk more about phases. But when the, the moon is right here, it's usually a full moon. But if it's just dead center, just perfectly right, um, it'll pass through the Earth's, what we say, pass through the Earth's shadow. Okay, that is a lunar eclipse. Solar eclipse then happens where we can't see the sun. And solar eclipse happens like this, where we have the, we have the, um, the Earth is here, the Sun is here, and again the Moon is orbiting the Earth, okay, and here's where the Moon actually gets in the way of the Sun's disk. So it's kind of neat because the size of these disks from as seen on Earth are can be very similar depending upon kind of the the how close or far away the Moon is to the Earth. So when it just passes, the disks just happen to coincide from our perspective, then it eclipses, we say we have a solar eclipse. Is that cool or what? Okay. So uh, what we're looking at here is um, the moon. Oh, well, we're not looking at anything here. We're just kind of showing kind of some shadows, some sweet spots. So, for instance, we know ongoing that here in outer space, there's, forget the moon, here in outer space, the Earth is actually casting a shadow into outer space relative to what the sun's shining, energy in all directions. So you can kind of see um, what we call the dark part or the umbral part of the Earth's shadow, and then we see the penumbral part of the Earth's shadow. So the dark part actually creates a little black dot out there, the umbral part of the Earth's shadow, and this is the penumbral part of the Earth's shadow. So we kind of have these different variations of eclipses of the moon. Um, the coolest eclipse, and like I said, 2014 fall, 2014, I think it's about 4 a.m., um, we are going to actually have a total eclipse. And like the word total implies, um, in this scenario up here, the moon is passing through the Earth's darkest shadow, the umbral part of the Earth's shadow. And it gets entirely, have you ever heard of the blood red, blood red moon? Okay, that's where the moon is, um, the entire disk of the moon is passing through the Earth's dark shadow. Um, uh, partial lunar eclipse, at least part of the moon passes through the dark part, of the umbral part of the Earth's shadow. And to me, um, a penumbral lunar eclipse is not worth getting up for. <laughs> so this is where the moon actually passes through the Earth's shadow, but it's that light, the penumbral part of the Earth's shadow. So, you know, yeah. So I'm going to, I'll see if I can kind of find this animation and play it for you. But you can kind of see bird's eye view, what we've been talking about. Here's the Earth, and the moon is, is going counterclockwise, and here's the sun, and the Earth is casting a shadow, and the moon's going to go through that shadow. Eclipses of the sun, then, can only happen when the moon is in what we call its new phase. Okay, again, we'll talk about full moon, new moon, and kind of the quarters between them. 
But in this case, um, the moon is blocking out the disk of the sun, okay? So it's just got to be just right. So we have a variety of um, solar eclipses, too. We have a total solar eclipse, okay? And that's not what we're going to have um, this year. But a total solar eclipse means that the, the disk of the moon entirely covers the disk of the sun. It happens. Um, and then we have a partial solar eclipse, and that's, actually that's what's going to happen this year. And that's where the disk of the moon is going to cover part of the disk of the sun. It's just not quite lining up exactly. And then we have down here an annular eclipse. Um, sometimes you hear kind of the ring of fire maybe. the And at... When the disk of the moon, kind of see the center there, is covering the disk of the sun, because the moon is kind of in a position kind of closer to the earth than it usually is, the disk doesn't, isn't big enough to totally cover the sun. The location is great um, as far as um, it passing into the path of the disk of the sun, but it's too close to the earth and it just doesn't um, quite cover the, the sun in its entirety. I said I'm going to try to get these animations, but honestly, there are some great YouTube videos out there, and I, I have some on my playlist for Chapter 2. Um, so it's just, oh, okay, eclipses are neat. <laughs> I call me geeky, I don't know. Um, so about eclipses, um, and actually, my husband and I were just kind of talking about this. You know, it's like, why don't we see an eclipse, like, why don't we see a lunar eclipse every full moon? and a solar eclipse every new moon. We should see that more often. And the, the answer in a nutshell is that as the moon orbits the Earth, it's, um, it also has a plane, like we have a plane of the ecliptic, you know, the Earth orbits the sun. But its plane is, is tilted five degrees outside. I don't know if you can kind of see it. This is, this is like showing you one scenario of the moon orbiting the Earth. And here this yellow is the Earth orbiting the Sun. So this plane is tilted um, outside the plane of the ecliptic 5 degrees. So they'll talk about this nodes where, the, where the, the plane of the Moon's orbit intersects the plane of the Earth's orbit about the Sun, the ecliptic. And if the nodes actually occur at new or full Moon, then you'll have an eclipse. So that's why we actually oftentimes have a pair of them. Um, so that's, that's why we don't hit those sweet spots all the time, because the moon's orbit is tilted 5 degrees outside the plane of the ecliptic.